Hey, good evening, Maximo. How are you doing? Are you driving? How's everything, Maximo? Are we driving? All right, so we're going to wait for everybody else. Maximo. So we're going to give it like five more minutes. Hey, welcome, Diego. How are you doing? Hey, good evening. How are you today? I'm great, man. Great. It's really hot today. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm uh, like... I really hate uh, when it's hot. I don't know. I, well, I have a problem right now because uh, I used to love the cold. But right now, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't like cold and hot. I don't know why. Right, got it, got it. I got you, brother. I got you. Yeah, no, I, I hate the, I hate hot. the hot weather. <laughs> yeah. You no, know, more of a, you no know, cold weather guy, so. Anyways, you know, it's really good to see you here. Welcome aboard. So we're going to give, uh, I don't know what happened to these guys. Everybody's coming late today. I don't know. I Let me see. I see a message for someone else. I don't know. I sent the message. Yeah, but. Pablo and I don't know who is the other one. But yeah, I don't know. All right, yeah, yeah. No worries. Anyways, man, how was how was your day today? Today, well it was um, today it was a really good day because Really, what do you do? Uh, oh, because I well, I had something to do in my in my job, but it was really easy. And after that, I decided to take a few minutes to relax a little and listen to music. And I don't know why, but I love music. 
but I I don't take that time to listen to music and I really love it. Okay. Awesome, man. Awesome. And uh, right. what about the platform? How are you doing with the platform? Oh, I I think I am up to date right now. I didn't right. start the I didn't start the section four. That is the section for this week. But I'm going to start today. Yeah. Right, After this awesome. class. Yeah, because um because I saw a message from Ingresco Partido, like you know, most people oh, yeah. have not started. That's weird, man. That's like the first thing I see that happening. Yeah. So that was like really, really weird. So anyways, let's get started now because I don't know what happened to everybody else. Yeah, it's okay. But uh, in today's agenda, we're going to go over requests with if clauses, okay? Okay. I mean, uh, with... Um, <clears throat> right. So we're going to go over the requests with with models, uh, models, if clauses, and gerunds, right? So that's the agenda for today. Um, so basically, we're going to learn how to use models to make requests, right? So let's get started. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear this video. Let me know if you can hear it, okay? Can you hear? Yes. Rachel, I am so glad you're home. I was wondering if you could help me out. Yeah. What's up, Anne? I need a big favor. My boss just called, and he wants me to go out of town this afternoon to meet with a client. That's great. Yeah, but my parents are out of town, too, and my little sister Megan is staying with me. Would you mind if she stayed with you tonight? I could pick her up tomorrow by 10. Uh, no, I don't mind at all. Uh, what time did you want to bring her over? How about now? <laughs> <sighs> Hi, Megan. Did you want to spend the night here? Okay. Great, uh, but I have a report to work on tonight. Don't worry, we planned ahead. She brought her homework. She'll keep herself busy. Fantastic. I, I have to run. Thanks a million. Oh, you're welcome. Bye, Meg. Have fun, but do your homework, okay? Don't worry, Ann. I will. Bye. All right, so have you noticed, the guys, the request that they made there? What kind of what type of requests have we heard so far? All right, let's play it out again. Welcome, Alejandro. Nice seeing you again. All right, so let's check it out again, okay? I want you to take a look at the requests, the phrases that we're using there. Rachel, I am so glad you're home. I was wondering if you could help me out. Yeah. What's up, Ann? I need a big favor. My boss just called, and he wants me to go out of town this afternoon to meet with a client. That's great. Yeah, but my parents are out of town too, and my little sister Megan is staying with me. Would you mind if she stayed with you tonight? I could pick her up tomorrow by 10. Uh, no, I don't mind at all. Uh, what time did you want to bring her over? How about now? <laughs> Hi, Megan. Did you want to spend the night here? OK. Great, uh, but I have a report to work on tonight. Don't worry, we planned ahead. She brought her homework. She'll keep herself busy. Fantastic. I, I have to run. Thanks a million. Oh, you're welcome. Bye, Meg. Have fun, but do your homework, okay? Don't worry, Ann. I will. Bye. All right, so what have we heard so far? She asked, uh, she asked her to take care of her sister for the night to take care of her sister for the night okay mm -hmm. right very good how, how how did she request that sorry how did she make the request uh, i don't remember <laughs> exactly but something like oh i i, I don't remember okay did anybody else like get that? could you no huh yeah, could you help me mm, taking care of uh, my sister tonight? I don't know, something like that. Can we say, can we say, could you help me taking care? Would that be a correct sentence? What do you think? Could you help me? Can you help me taking care? Help me taking care. We'll see that, right? That's what we're yeah. going to do today. 
but no, ju just uh, like if I want to give you a quick answer, no, that's incorrect. We can't we can't say. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can't say that. Okay. Okay. But I'll help you out. All right. So let's uh, keep watching. I want you to do something, ladies and gentlemen. Diego, Maximo, Alejandro, Morena, welcome. Uh, I want you to write down the sentences that the, the 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 phrases that you hear for making requests. Okay. Okay. Grade are you in, Megan? Eighth. Hey, you've got the Twilight movies. Can we watch them? Uh, sure, but I think you should do your homework first. Okay. Good. Uh, you can work in here. I have some work to do too, so I'm gonna go to my office. Okay. How's the homework coming? Good. I did half of my math problems. That's good, but you still have some more work to do. You can watch the movie when you're done, okay? Rachel! Yes? I'm done. Is it okay if I watch the movie now? Yes! So what type of what type of request do you hear now? What type of request did the uh, kid make? It is okay if I watch the movie now. Is it okay or is it okay? Is it okay? Is it okay if I watch the movie now, right? Okay, all right, very good. Let's keep watching. Megan, could you turn that down a little bit? What? Could you please turn down the volume? Oh. All right, so we got another very polite request there. Morena, what type of request did she, did you hear? Can you please set the turn down? Good job, could you please? Uh, she, uh, she asked, could you please the turn down? Okay, repeat. The volume. Okay, repeat guys. Could you please turn down, repeat, could you please turn down? Could you please turn down the volume? Could you please turn down the volume? The volume. Exactly. Could you please turn down the volume, right? That is okay. bajarle, right? Very good. Mm -hmm. Good job. You get it. Okay. Write it down because I want you to understand the could you please part. Thank you. I'm starving. Can I have something to eat? I it's only four in the afternoon. So? Um, okay, how about some carrot sticks and an apple? What else have you got? I have some strawberries and whipped cream. Anything else? Okay, how about a pizza? I have one in the freezer. Plain? I think it's a veggie pizza? That sounds good. I know. It's so romantic when Edward tells her he loves her. Does he stay with her? You mean you've never read any of the books or seen the movies? No, I was too little. But I'm old enough to understand them now. Can we watch the second movie after this one's over? I have a better idea. <laughs> Anybody home? Oh, good morning. Good morning. What's going on here? We stayed up late reading Twilight. I loved it when Bella first dreamed about Edward. Oh, me too. The part where Jacob appears? Wow. We must have lost track of time. We ought to get going, Megan. All right, I'll grab my stuff. 
These books are the best. Would you mind if I borrowed this one? Oh, no, go ahead. Thanks. You two really seem to hit it off. How'd you do it? I guess a good book can still bring people together. All right, very good. So, okay, so we got a couple of phrases there. There were also some um, some idioms that we're using, like hit it, hit it off, right? Hit it off is to get along, you know, to like each other, right? To be able to relate well with the other person okay so let's uh, let's move forward all right so basically right we're going to talk about models and how we can use them to request things right so what are models what, what are some of the models that you know guys what do you think can could and would can could would what what else Might. We have? we have what? I'm sorry. Might. My, Mike. Mm -hmm. Mike. Mike. Yes. Might. might. Okay. We have might. You're right. Yes, we do have might. Very good. Very good. What else? What else do we have? All right. So I want you to take a look at the four questions that we can make with modal verbs. Okay. So to make questions. Actually, why, why, why do we even use modal verbs to make these type of questions? It's because we want to sound polite, right? And if you say, would you, could you, will you, can you, right? There's the ways in which we can say sound polite or not, okay? So we can start a sentence with would you, and how, how could we say that? How could we, how could we start that? We would say, would you please come visit me next month? Hey, would you please come visit me next month? All right now, is this a modal verb? I mean, is this question, you know, coming from a modal verb? Yes, right? Would you, would you please come visit me next month? Would you come visit me next month? All right? Where is the auxiliary here, guys? If we say, would you come visit me next month? Where do I find the auxiliary? And how do you answer to this? Think, where is the auxiliary, right? Because um, if we're making a question, we need an auxiliary. So where is the auxiliary here? What do you think? Well. Here. So if I said, you're watching, you're seeing the presentation, right? So if I said, would you come visit me next month? Where do I find the auxiliary here? Oh, okay. Donde está la auxiliar? That's what I'm asking. Where, where do you see it? Where could we find it, guys? It's here, right? It's right here. Would modal verbs, modal verbs will be our auxiliaries, okay? Don't oh, okay. That, okay, modal verbs will be okay. auxiliaries, okay? All right. Can I say, do you think it's okay for me to say, hey, um, could you come visit me next month? Could, could I say that? Would that be correct? Yes. Right, very good. Yes, we can say that. Can I say, will you come visit me next month? Yes. Right. Can you come visit me next month? Can I say this? Yes. Yes. All right. So I want you to notice something in the structure. We're using the modal verb plus mm -hmm. the subject. Okay. Okay. Now, if the subject were Cheyenne or a third person, general, right? He or she. Do we change the do we change anything? Do we change the verb or something? What do you think? No. No? No? Do 
you agree, guys? We don't use it? No, we're not going to change it. We can say, will he come visit me next month, right? Mm -hmm. Could he come visit me? Will he, will Cheyenne come visit me next month, right? So we can use them, guys. So what is the difference between them both? I mean, between all of them, I'm sorry. We can use them like that. What would be the difference between all of them? Teacher. Tell me. You have a noise in your audio. I, I do? I'm sorry. Hold on. Maybe it's the... Um, I... What type of noise do I have? Is, is, it like the, uh, is it like a fan? Yes, it's like a fan. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's possible. All right, what about now? Clear. Is, is it clear yeah. now? Yes. Clear. Okay. All right, very good. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, so I activated the noise cancellation part from this. Okay, great. So anyways, so would you, could you, and will you, right? So what is the difference? Why, why are we making a difference here? What do you think? Why is there e even a difference? It's because of the level of, uh, the level of uh, Polite, politeness, polite I don't form. know. Uh -huh. The level of politeness, right? So which one is more polite? More polite. Yes, more which, polite. Which one is would, more polite? Maybe. Well, well and cool. Uh -huh. Good, right? Will you and can you, right, are more polite. Exactly, mm -hmm. yes, okay? So we can use them to make requests, okay? All right, so we have modal verbs, right? Can we say that modal verbs are? What are they? Helping or auxiliary verbs. Helping verbs, right? Or auxiliary verbs. Auxiliary, not not ow. Ah. Auxiliary. Auxiliaries, right? Very good. Auxiliary, okay. So they are auxiliaries, okay? Auxiliary. Very good. They can be used for ability permission or to ask for assistance, okay? For example, could you help me for could you help me for a minute, please? Or this shows that the speaker is asking for help for life. Right? All right. So we can say, guys, okay, we can use them to ask for something in a polite manner, okay? Now, I want you to do something real quick here, okay? I want you to write down, I'm going to go back a little bit, with the examples that I gave you in the previous slide, okay? I want you to, hold on, I want you to come up with, 10 examples in your notebook real quick, all right? 10 examples in your notebook asking for questions politely using these, okay? So you're gonna use these four types of uh, questions to come up with your own questions politely, okay? So for example, you can say, hey, would, and do it in third person if you want, right? Would Cheyenne, help me sing right is that a is that a polite question yes yes right very good so let's go right so give me 10 examples real quick and then we're gonna go over them as fast as possible okay let's go ladies okay. and gentlemen
All right, guys. Let me know if uh if anyone finishes, guys, let me know, okay? Someone finishes. Teacher, tell me. I have a question. Tell me, yeah. In the last example, mm -hmm. you write, "Will you come visit?" Yeah, would you come visit? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Can I write, "Will you come to visit?" Yeah, yeah, you can say that. Yeah, you can you can say would you come to visit too? Mm -hmm. Both of them would be okay. Okay, thank. I already finished. Right. So let's hear your examples. So what do we got? Okay. Uh, would you play with me tomorrow? Right. Uh, would you play with me tomorrow? What else? What would you mind if I borrowed your laptop? Would you Can mind I if I you borrowed? If I borrowed. Borrowed. Sorry. Yeah. Borrowed. Your laptop. Yeah. All right. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Okay. What else? Uh, can you give me a piece of chocolate? chocolate? Can I get more? Sorry? Chocolate. Chocolate. Yes, chocolate. 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 Okay. Chocolate. Mm -hmm. uh, can I get more spaghetti? Could you help me with my homework? Uh, will you cook for us? Can I go to your house? Will you marry me? All right. Okay. And mm -hmm. would you like to watch it with me? For example, a movie or something. Would you like to watch a movie with me then? Right? If you, mm -hmm. okay, very good. Good job. Those are perfect examples. Good job, man. Congratulations. Okay. Right? Maximo, what do you have, Maximo? Would you take the ticket for me? Would you take the ticket for me? All right. Very good. What else? Could Sergio bring me a minute? Could, could what? I'm sorry? Could Sergio bring me a minute? Could Sergio bring me a minute? Okay. Hold on. Could Sergio bring me a minute? Mm -hmm. well, what, is, what is that supposed to mean? I'm sorry. You mean give me a minute? Sí. Uh -huh. Bring me bring me a minute. Oh. Bring me a minute. Then what is bring me a minute? I'm not understanding that. What is that? That that, mm, that part right about, there? About... About time. But nobody can bring you a minute. 
-huh. No, nobody can do that. Nadie te puede traer un minuto. Why, why are you saying bring me a minute? Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, right, that, that's, that's the reason I, I was asking. Okay. No, you, need to, you need to use give, no? Give, you need to give use me. What? Give me. Give. give me, yes. Give me a minute. Give, give me. Yes. Ah, okay, give okay. Give me a minute. Okay, okay. Yes, that you can say yes. Yes, absolutely. Would you give me a minute, okay? I think bring versus give is more polite. No, it's polite. You can't, you cannot say that doesn't make sense. Could you mm -hmm. bring me a minute? Doesn't make sense, okay? So, no, don't say that <laughs> because okay. that doesn't make sense, right? <laughs> that, it doesn't exist, okay? Put it okay. like that. Can right. you watch? Can you watch TV now? Can you watch TV now? Very good. So you okay. can say, "Can you watch TV now?" Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. What else? Will you drive for everybody? Will you drive for everybody? Okay. Yes, you can say that. Will you drive for everybody? Okay. What else do we have? No more, teacher. Nothing more? No. All right, beautiful. Good job. Thank you. Thank you very much, right? Okay. Morena, what do we have, Morena? Okay. Um, would you like to go... Would you like to go with me at the discotheque? Would okay. you... Uh, discotheques no longer exist, okay? They are okay. things from the 70s. That's a discotheque. Yeah, they don't exist anymore. Okay. You say, okay. You said to the club. Ah. Oh. Right? Okay. Discotheque, nadie dice discotheque. Eso dejó de existir en los 70, en los 60. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Right? Good They're to know. Clubs, not discotheques. Clubs. Clubs. Yes. Clubs. Okay, clubs. okay. All right. And uh, I, 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 I'm sorry, can you please repeat the whole phrase again? What what was the whole phrase again? Could you please repeat it, Morena? Your microphone, Morena. Yes, Morena. I think your microphone. I'm so sorry. I was in mute and. You muted. It's okay. Yes, I'm going to tell uh, uh, the first one. Would you like to go with me at the at the club? To to not not at to. To the club. To the club, not okay. club. 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 Thank you. Club. Yes. Could you spend time with my family tonight? We should spend time with my family tonight. Okay. Would you tell me the Would you tell me the message after this class? Would you tell me? Would you give me, or would you tell me the message after this class? Okay. Could you let me? Uh, could you lend me your car? Could you let me could I, your car? You can say that, but it's better. People would say, "Could I borrow your car?" Okay. Can I borrow? Yes. Can I borrow okay. your car? Okay. Will you go to the university next year? Will will would oh? you go to the university next year? All right. Very good. What else? Will they clean the school tomorrow? Very good. Very good. Okay. Stay in the in the, the previous one. Okay. Yes, it is grammatically correct to say, would you go to university next year? But there is something there that we can improve. What do you think, guys? What's, what's weird about saying, would you go to the university next year? Is there any better model that we could be using? To me, cool, but I don't know. Okay. actually will because you're talking about oh, yeah. that, that might happen right yeah it's true will mm. okay yeah, you can see will. okay okay that's it all right very good very good awesome thank you awesome. thank you very much thank you, no, thank thanks you. to you good job uh so we got uh alejandro what do we have alejandro yeah i have this one the first one 
will you help me? Second one, uh, could I go to the park? Could okay. I borrow your notebook? Could I speak to Mark? Can I use your computer? Uh, would you lend me uh, your camera? Could I, uh, could I have some soda? Okay. That's the one that, that All I right. wrote. Those are the ones you wrote? All right, great job. Actually, they were pretty good, All right? They were pretty, pretty, pretty good. Okay, um, all right, so let's continue. Okay, I think we all, we're, we're getting the hang of this, on how to make, you know, requests with models, right? So any questions so far, ladies and gentlemen? Is everything good? Yes, yes. okay. All right, so, all right, so let's move on then. And let's take a look at this, okay? To ask questions very politely, there is something that we can add here. What is something that you're seeing here that we did not see before? What is something that you're seeing here that we had not seen before? In the last structure, we don't add, uh, for example, uh, please. Exactly, right? We're not saying please. That is the difference, right? Okay, very good. So what happens when we say please, right? This becomes even more polite. And what is the structure? Write down the structure, right? So the structure is the one that we got here, right? So ask questions very politely. Would you or could you? Okay, so would you please email that document to me as soon as possible? Could you explain that again, please? I didn't understand. Now, why do we do that, guys? Because Hey, how do you ask me to repeat something in this class, guys? How do you usually ask me to repeat something for you? Or like people learn in English, how would they ask it? Could you repeat that again, please? Repeat that, right? Re uh, or explain re that. Repeat, right? Oh, repeat? Exactly. They would just go repeat. like, we repeat. Right? So okay. no, we're not gonna say, you know, we are learning, you know, how to be way more polite than that, right? Okay. So yeah, that's that's the reason why, guys, okay? Right? That way we're being way more polite. Right? So anyways, so would you please email that document to me or could you explain that again, please? I didn't understand. Okay, by the way guys, okay. the acronym of we say, you know, would you please repeat that again? Or right, we're talking about ASAP, guys, means as soon as possible, right? So keep that in mind, okay? Very good. So uh, any questions so far? We're good? No. All right. All right, very good, very good. Okay, then, so moving on, then we have, you know, we can be polite, guys, we can still be polite, but more, but more casual, right? How can we do that? We can say, will you or can you, but we're going to add, please, will you please come to my party, right? Now, if we say, will you please come to my party, we're definitely talking about the future is something that we are definitely expecting the other person to to do for us okay so keep that in mind right so we can say could can you hold my books for me right so they are still requests and they're polite but they are not exactly as polite as the previous one okay that's when we're gonna use can you and will and will can you and will okay so now I want you guys to complete this exercise sis Right, so we got a couple of questions here. Do my favor, ladies and gentlemen, take a screenshot. Actually, you know what? It's only five of us here. So I'm gonna give you 10 minutes so you complete them all, okay? Sounds good? I'll leave them I leave them on the screen and you you can just complete them. Okay? Okay.
All right, so you guys, um, let me know when you finish, okay? You got four more minutes, but let me know, okay? I already finished. All right, what about the rest? Are you still working on it, guys? Diego, Alejandro, Maximo. Oh, Diego, you were, you finished, right? Maximo, yeah. Morena. I tried to finish. Are you still working on it? Okay, you got three more minutes, okay? Don't worry. Hey, do, do, do you have any idea why nobody else is here, guys? What happened? Did they get mad at, did they get mad at something? What happened? I never had so few students in my life. I don't know. Did they say anything? Yeah, that's that's really weird. We, yeah, it's the first time in like three years now or four that I don't see that I see so few people. I have never had so few students. You know, that's weird. Usually they got like twenty five. <laughs> I mean, but this class was twenty five. You know? Yeah, this class was so small. I don't know. Something's gonna happen. All right, anyway, so let's get started. So what is the, the answer for number one, Diego? What do you got, my brother? Uh, it is a formal, formal polite request. So would you mind if I speak to Mr. Smith, please? All right, would you mind if I speak to Mr. Smith, please? Right, very good. Very good, okay, all right. Um, then we got number two, Alejandro. What do we have, sir? Number two, uh, could you open the window, please? It's hot in here. All right, could you open the window, please? It's hot in here. Hot. Hot. Very good. So, right, so that's how you say it, right? Okay, number three, um, Maximo, what do you have, Maximo? Oh, your microphone, Maximo. You're on mute. Thank. Could you buy two loaves of bread on your way home? Very good. Could you buy two loaves of bread when on your way home? Okay. All right, very good. That is correct. Uh, Morena, what do we have, Morena? Would you mind if I borrow your dictionary for an, for an hour or so? Okay, all right, very good. Diego, what do we have for the next one? I am not really sure uh, <laughs> in this one, but uh, would you mind if I want to come to your party? Mind if I if I want to come to your party. Now when we use when we use would right do you remember conditionals? Does anybody remember conditionals here? Do you remember second conditionals? No, I don't remember. Okay. I didn't come. Very good. The answer is, would you mind if I didn't come to your party? Didn't, okay. Yes, the reason why is because it's a, second it's a question in a second conditional, right? Okay. For imaginary situations. And for imaginary situations, we're going to use simple past. We're not talking about the but, past. We're not talking in the past. We're talking about the future. Mm -hmm. But, but this an is an imaginary. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's an imaginary situation. Exactly. Sorry, right. Uh, <laughs> but I don't know, it doesn't sound like a binary scenario to me, but okay. I will check out that. Yeah, um, yeah, it, but that's the right answer. That's because, would you mind if I won't come to your party? That doesn't exist. Okay. Right? The answer is, would you mind if I didn't come to your party? Okay. A second Thank condition you. would be, if I didn't come to your party, I wouldn't have fun. If I didn't come to your party, I would be happy. Oh, I, I understand the imaginary scenario. Yeah, I got, I got it. it now. Okay. Thank you. All right. 
Yes. All right, very good. So, um, okay. So next one, who wants to give me the last one? This. Wants to give me the last one. This is reading, uh, read, reading, I don't know. <laughs> uh, could you lend me $200 till next week, please? Next, next week, uh, please, sorry. Borrow. Yes. No, lend me. Oh, okay. You, lend you, me. You just lend me, right? Yeah. Can you lend me, right? Or could you lend me $200 till next week, mm -hmm. please, right? Very good. Let me, let me ask you something. Is it is it possible for me to say um, is it possible for me to say uh, can't you lend me two hundred dollars until next week, please? Can, can I not say can't you lend me? Could I or could I not say that? I always, uh, I don't know. I I always mix that two uh, words, uh, borrow and lend, but I think it's not possible. Maybe it's borrow. Okay. All right. So no, I mean you can say borrow. The thing is, what borrow you say? You cannot say can. Can you borrow me now? You say, can I borrow or can you lend me? It's different, oh. right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But um, no, I was talking about can't you. If, okay. Basically, what, is that, what I was asking you is if I cannot, can, can I use this in the past, yes or no? Or no, right? That's what oh, I was okay. asking. You. And the answer is yes. I mean, I mean, I can use can't, right? But mm -hmm. we should not say that because that is not polite. Yeah. Like if you ask something in negative, it's like you are almost obligating the other person, mm -hmm. right? It's like when we say in Spanish, "puya no me puedes prestar dinero," right? Right. In Spanish, we have a way of saying it politely, right? But it's not correct. Okay. All right. So, any questions? No, teach. <clears throat> Here are some phrases that you can use to sound even more polite, okay? This would be like, well, I don't know if you work in call centers or not, but these would be some of the phrases that you can use for customer service, for example, right? Or, I don't know, if you have to be polite, these are some of the questions, the phrases that you can use. Do you mind if, do you mind if, or you guys, do you mind if? Do you mind if? Do you hear me, guys? Hello? Sorry, I I don't know why, but I can't. I, I couldn't turn on my microphone. Sorry. Okay, right. Do you mind if? Okay. I, I, I could. Okay. I this is going to be followed by a subject, okay? Do you mind if I? Do you mind, mm -hmm. do you mind if I cut the rope? If I cut. Cut the rope. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. right. Very rope. good. Do you mind if I cut the rope? Okay, very good. Basically, guys, this is going to be followed by the subject, okay? Mm -hmm. Would you mind if, and then this is going to be followed by the subject, right? So this is subject, verb, and complement, right? So mm -hmm. for example, you can say, do you mind if I, or you know, if Cheyenne, right? Cheyenne is the name of my dog. If Cheyenne, <laughs> right? So you can say, do you mind if Cheyenne, um, barks a lot, right? Remember, Chan is my dog. So do you mind if Chan barks a lot? 
uh, would you mind if I am Barca lot? Could I or could I? You can substitute these guys for Cheyenne, okay? Could Cheyenne yeah. bark a lot? Would it be okay if Cheyenne barks a lot? So all of these guys can be used with Cheyenne, okay? Just remember Cheyenne, all right? So, uh, and lastly, I wonder if, now I wonder if it's a little bit different because then you're gonna have to use the mm -hmm. subject. I wonder if you, if she, if I, I wonder if, but this is extremely polite. This is actually very nice. Right, like, like, this is like really, really polite. I was wondering, like, if you're gonna ask out a lady, uh, a girl. So if you're gonna ask a girl out, for example, you can say, "I was wondering if you'd like to come with me to watch a movie." You know. All right. So you can say, "I was. I wonder if Cheyenne barks a lot." I was wondering if Cheyenne barks a lot. Right. Because these are. Uh, these are still models of, I mean, these are phrases, right? But we're talking about requests, okay? All right, okay. so what do you think, guys? Do we have any questions? It's too short of a time, right? Mm -hmm. We need more time. <laughs> yes. More time, guys, but... All right, but but guys, how do you feel? Are you learning, guys? Something it worries me that uh, I see so few people. You know, I I've never had this. Like it's it's true, you know. I mean, nothing bad is gonna happen to me, but it just you, I don't know what what's going on. Yeah, it's a little bit weird. Yeah, it's but it's weird. yeah, but it's just yeah. I don't know. I don't know. You know, but uh, but you're doing great, guys. If you need help, guys, listen. We're gonna go over the platform together. Right. Um, so, hagan la plataforma, por favor, complétenla. Vamos a ir, vamos a estudiar la plataforma juntos. Eh, digo, vamos a resolver la plataforma juntos cuando yo llegue a ella, ¿ok? Pero ustedes háganla antes si quieren, ¿ok? Ok. Eso es como lo más importante que pide inglés corporativo. Máximo, Alejandro, Moreno, ya, ya, ya completaron la sección 1, 2 y 3. Incluso la 4 creo que tienen que terminar esta semana. Yes. Yes, teacher. I did the midterm. Okay. Yes, midterm. Sí, sí. Por algún motivo, sí por algún motivo, eh, la plataforma a veces guys tiene errores. Mm -hmm. Yo lo digo sinceramente a veces tiene errores y no les va a aceptar una, una respuesta. Nosotros les vamos a ver en clase, sí. Okay. Cualquier cosa, okay. cualquier cosa que si de verdad necesitan, si es algo que ustedes dicen, hey, teacher, si es que yo no entendí, que sea otro ejemplo de esto. No entendí muy bien esta parte. Denle, yo escríbame, yo se las explico en clase si pueden en un momento, pero lo que pasa es que todo el día paso súper ocupado también. Entonces en clase pueden preguntar lo que sea, ¿verdad? Pero, but ask, ¿ok? Because I'll help you, all right? So, anyways, uh, mañana, guys, yo me conecto cinco minutos antes siempre, o incluso antes. Okay. Conéctese temprano, por favor, para que vamos a empezar antes, porque hoy sí todos se tardaron un poquito. Y bueno, okay. no sé si tienen alguna pregunta. No, sure. Todo bien, todo bien. All right. Very good. So, guys, telling y disfruten de la lluvia que está lloviendo. Por fin va a ser frío. All right. Enjoy. Que, que, que posiblemente se me vaya la luz, pero usted. All right. Take care, guys. Good evening. All right. Good night. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow.